Hey guys, just wanted to do a real quick uh, worship confessional for you. It's uh, Sunday, October the 7th, and uh, we had a kind of interesting week today uh, in that it's our, our high attendance Sunday at, at church, and as, uh, as luck may have it, um, one of my favorite guys to, uh, to work with, um, my electric guitarist uh, there at the church, he, uh, he and uh, uh, his uh, small group, a lot of the guys that he does life with together, decided that they're going to go out and, and spend time together as a, as a group and, and just bond with nature and with God and, uh, and have a, a camping trip. Um, the only problem is, is, is that uh, through the through the course of communication, that didn't get communicated until uh, after the you know the songs have been picked and we had uh, sent out invites through planning center and all that and you know and, and he, he was great about it, you know coming back to me and saying hey you know sorry just just letting you know I'm not going to be there this week so um, you know we thought about how how do we how do we uh, handle this situation and, and what do we do because a couple of those songs that were in there really uh, relied heavily on guitar. And uh, man, I, I love it when this guy comes out of his shell and you know uh, starts busting loose on some uh, uh, on some lead parts. Uh, so we had uh, uh, from the inside out and overcome were a couple of these songs that we were playing. So one of the um, one of the tricks that I've learned over the years uh, that to do whenever it's it's last minute and let's say that even the Sunday of. Um, you all of a sudden lose your lead guitarist and you've got direction on where you're going and maybe that song just really needs it otherwise um, it just loses its flavor well there's a, a, a good trick to have in your bag of tricks especially if you have a really good uh, drummer uh, that can handle a variety of instruments and that's this little guy sitting over here in the passenger seat beside me uh, getting a box drum is, is a great way of being able to adapt um, you go to an extreme measure of going from playing uh, full-on um, aggressive electric assault to going to unplug. So we basically transitioned to taking uh, a three-man piece where it was me on an acoustic guitar, uh, my bass, my uh, bass player uh, playing a full acoustic bass, uh, and um, one of my best friends, uh, Andrew, playing on the uh, the box drum over there, just sitting on the box. And, and playing that took a, a, a plastic tube and filled it up with uh, some rice and put some gaff tape on either end of it and made a uh, made a shaker out of it and that's uh, that's how we did uh, worship. We did a really intimate set uh, with with those songs and we were able to do some uh, do those songs in some creative ways. So if you ever find yourself in a bind where uh, you need to find ways of doing those songs are doing songs that would otherwise need an electric feel uh, man there are ways that you can do it and you're able to still worship god I had so many people that came up to us and said man worship was so great today um, and worship's always great whenever god is the focus Mus musical instruments don't always have to be the focus god is the focus people are worshiping all over the world right now as we speak uh, in different ways uh, with different musical instruments um, what matters is the god that we're serving so uh, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'd uh, love to hear from you. You can always email me at jason at godworship.net, and we'd love to hear your stories of worship. Have a great day. God bless.